Hello everyone, this is my 97 Mazda Miata. I'm going to show you a project I've been working on on this car. And it's a digital gauge that's right here in the center console. And it's based on an Arduino and the Obduino code that you can find on the internet. I modified this one a little bit to get it to work with the car and everything I needed. Uh, it works with a Bluetooth adapter, an Elm 327 adapter that plugs into the OBD2 port down here. Most people use these little adapters on their phones via Bluetooth to run apps like Torque. I modified this one to be hardwired to the Arduino and it's also got a little relay on here for turning it on and off so it's only on when the car's on and off when it's the car's off. Um, so the screen here outputs uh, pretty much the same information you can get on the apps for your phone. Uh, it'll display any information that your your car's ECU has available from any sensors around the engine. And uh, since it's an Arduino also, you can use it to calculate any other values you want. So you can take information from your engine and do calculations to display any other information you want. It's pretty endless when you're using an Arduino on what you can display on these screens. So let me start it up so you can see it. When you turn the key, it initializes, make sure everything's working. And then the first screen pops up. And I'll go ahead and start the engine. So there's five screens on here that display different information you can scroll through. Uh, the first one here is just temperatures. We've got uh, an outside temperature, uh, an inside temperature here on the left, and then on the right hand side is uh, intake air temperature and coolant temperature. And uh, that coolant one's really nice because the gauge on this car is just um, a dial with no numbers. So it's nice to see the actual temperature. The inside and outside temperatures are not actually available on this car's ECU. You know, this, these Miatas don't have those temperature sensors. So those two are actually just separate sensors I wired in for the Arduino. One of them is under the headlight. Uh, one of them is tucked in over here underneath the footwell for the inside temperature. Uh, and I can get those values just using the Arduino. So I'll go to the next screen. This screen displays battery voltage there on the top left. Uh, the bottom left is a timing advance number. Uh, the top right is a trip, basically the same thing that's under your odometer, just a trip meter. Uh, and the bottom right is a timer, and that starts going when you start driving. It keeps track of how long you've been driving. And this next screen is some mileage and gas usage stuff. Top left there is distance until empty. So that takes the amount of fuel you've burned since you reset your trip meter and filled up with gas and calculates how far it thinks until you run out of gas. Now the bottom left there is um, gallons of gas you burned since your last reset. So I just reset this one. I've only burned 0.03 gallons. Uh, top right there is just a goofy smiley face. Um, fun one that it changes between smiley and frowny and whatnot, depending on how your gas usage is. And typically, I'm in okay. Never do too good. Uh, the bottom right there is the same as that trip meter again. This one's just engine load. Uh, so if I rev the engine, you can see it jump around. That one's kind of fun to watch. Last one here is miles per gallon. And the big number there on the left is the average miles per gallon. And I just reset this 0.7 miles ago. So as you drive further and further, the average gets better and better. And depending on, you know, if you're driving city or whatever, or highway, it changes over time. So this one isn't really accurate right now since I just reset it. You need to drive a few miles in order for it to get a decent average miles per gallon. The little numbers below the MPG there, that's instant miles per gallon. And those numbers jump up and down um, as you're driving, depending on if you're accelerating it or if you're coasting. Uh, it shows you 
instantly what your miles per gallon are. So that one's a nice, that one's fun one to watch too. And then back to the beginning. That's pretty much it for the software. You can customize all these screens to display anything you want, um, depending on the sensors of your car. You can change them around, have any information on any screen. And just by going into the menus, uh, you can change all of it around. Um, you can configure your displays and what what um, PIDs are displaying on each screen. And you can even read trouble codes. So if you have a check engine light on, you can uh, read what the code is and even clear it. So you can get rid of check engine lights uh, with this little device too, which is nice. So that's pretty much it for the data you can display. Uh, I'll turn it off so you can see how it shuts off on its own. Uh, there's a little delay, about a five second delay before it turns off, after you turn the car off. And that way you won't run your battery down or anything by using this. I've got this plate held on here with magnets so I can get to the Arduino or any of the wiring if I need. You can see the Arduino there on the left. The right hand side just has some voltage regulators and um, the thermistors are plugged in there. So a few other odds and end wiring circuitry that I needed to lay out. Uh, on the back end of the faceplate, you've got the screen and the three buttons. All that wiring, it's kind of a mess, but it works. And that just snaps on there with the magnets. That's pretty much it. Uh, pretty cool little project. It was pretty fun. And it's uh, displays some really cool stuff. Alright, thanks for watching.